Hi everyone, um, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria DL. I'm part of the content creator team with Tonic Studios. And today I want to share with you Designer's Choice. And this one is called Corner Creations. So let's go ahead and show you the dies and then we'll show you some samples and we'll put a card together. So, it comes beautifully packaged as always in this really sturdy envelope. And then if we take the dies out, we have a collection here of corner dies. So I'll just get a piece of white cardstock and then you can see clearly what we have here. So it comes to you on the acetate backing and then you can put these um, on a, a magnetic sheet and they'll slide then in your A5 wallets, uh, your tonic binders. So here we have a beautiful collection of um, different corners and we've got two sentiments here in the set as well. Uh, one says just for you and the other one says on your day. So there's just for you here and on your day here. Now as you'll see you have um, a detailed decorative inner panel which will cut straight into your cardstock and then you'll have like a backing panel and this one has a, a stitched edge and that would you would do that in a, in a different colour and then um, you'll have like two tones there or you could mirror it it's up to you but that has an outer edge cutting die we'll go to this one here i think this i mean they're all beautiful but this one really took my fancy a beautiful frilly edge and then this center die here cuts into the cardstock so um you've got more possibilities there with the verso edges here we have a smaller decorative um die there and we have this beautiful corner piece with an extra corner piece here and you can use it with or without then have a little butterfly in this panel here two further smaller um, you've got a plain edge and then you've got a decorative edge here on this one and I hope you can see this properly maybe that's the best of the way around and then this die here um, makes a lovely corner pocket so you can put a tag into so really really pretty pretty set um, as you'll see here there's flowers in this detailed one here there's a floral element here this one you've got a floral and you've got butterflies and then you've got a little floral element in there. So I'm going to put this to one side and then I'll show you a couple of cards that I've created already. And then we'll put one together. So this is the first card I've created and it's an 8 by 8 card. And then we've done a, a layer in the gold mirror in that lovely honey gold. And then we've used pistachio green, which I absolutely love pistachio green. And we've paper pieced here with the pink flowers. And we've put that into a card. So we've just cut um, your white layer here to go onto your pistachio. And we've cut into each corner. And that leaves you this beautiful round shape in the centre. And then we've cut... That beautiful die, I said to you, that's really taken my fancy. Let me take it off the sheet just to show you. It's really, really pretty. Let's take the foam off it. There we go. So we've cut um, a backing plate in the pistachio green. We have then cut this into the gold mirror card. And then we've gone in and we've placed this die and we've cut into the into the gold. And then we've done the same again with the white and we've we've caused um, a drop shadow with the gold mirror card there and the white. And then we've infilled with uh, navy cardstock because the cards I've done, they're all matching. I've done um, a matching set, really. And then they've been placed then onto the card on three millimetre foam pads to add some depth into the centre of the card. I've then done a slight drop shadow with the white and the gold for the sentiment just for you. And I've backed it on that pistachio green craft perfect. And then we've 
we've finished off we've added um the nouveau crystal drops and we've added pale metallic gold there to the outside edge and the inner edge of the flowers and then we've gone round this detail here on top of the die with the dream drops and it's cloud nine and then i've just done a triple bow at the top and a, a, a flower from my stash just to bring all the colors in so that is an eight by eight card okay i've also then done a seven by seven card this time we've gone on to a navy card blank we've got a white layer here and then we've had a navy layer and we've cut into the navy layer with the smaller corner die that is in the set so it's this little one here and we've placed that into the card just to make a little bit more of a detailed pattern in the center of the card to draw your eye in and then this navy layer has been added to the card with uh, 3d foam pads but before we stick it down we've actually added this die here for the pockets so these wrap around the navy layer and then we glue then we place this navy layer down onto foam pads so as you can see these there's a gap under each one here because we've just wrapped that around We've cut it in pistachio and we've wrapped it around the navy layer and then we've added all four and added them to this navy layer here and then we've put 3d foam pads underneath it to raise it off the white layer just to give some depth and dimension to the the center of the card as well we've then paper pieced the little floral elements in here and you can see you've got a beautiful butterfly here and you've got half of a, a butterfly here and then we've just um, die cut gold and white in the center there and we've added some um, of the dream drops again that cloud nine just to the outside edge of the uh, the little frill there so those are the two cards that i've already created and like i said this is a seven by seven card blank with out of navy card um, just a 240 card and those are two cards that we've we've done to um, match and coordinate with one another and then we what we've done for this next one and I'll just put the dies away so I don't lose any a habit of losing them if I've not got them on my magnetic mat we're actually going to make a smaller card so I've, I've gone square cards all the way through for this launch but we've gone down in sizes so the first card was an 8x8 the second card is a 7x7 and this card I think it was a 5x5 five five, if I remember rightly or it could be 4x4 four four. do you know what let's double check it's a 5x5 five five card blank so we've cut um, a layer in the mirror to bring the mirror into this one We've then cut that beautiful, pretty, pretty corner. Let me find it here. That's so pretty. And you've got a love heart design in there. So we've cut that out uh, of each corner. And that is going to be placed onto there. Okay. We've then cut that lovely frill. I said to you I really love that frilly edge we've cut that out and that has got your little tabs there to wrap around the back of your card and this is going to be a little pocket okay we've then cut out the backer in that pistachio green we've then cut the detail out of the miri card and we've then cut out the detail again in the mirror card was going to have a drop shadow there on the pocket so we'll go ahead and we'll do that bit and then we'll get on with the next bit okay so i'm going to glue these two pieces together i'm going to glue my card down with the drops there we go so i'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive all the way around the card some in the middle there. There we 
go. It's been a beautiful day here in Cheshire, but it, it's giving me the sniffles. I think it must be hay fever time. There we go. And just add a few little bits there just to help it stick. And not too much glue because we don't want it to seep out. So we'll bring that in so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm trying to be careful if I've put any extra glue on there because I hate it when you, it seeps out onto my card. I then have to bring me. As Jody says, bring a cardi out and buff it up. So, but it's a bit too warm for a cardi right now. <laughs> so, make sure that's all stuck down there. Okay. And I'm going to put foam pads on the back of here. So, just two mil foam pads. Okay. And one in there. Right, now you didn't have to cut one out of this corner because we're actually going to put the pocket over there so you could have just cut three but we didn't know where we were going with this card when we designed it so um, there we go. So there we have that pocket. So I'm going to glue the white detail and the gold detail together and I'm just going to do as I always do, glue on the back of the hand. If you can't do this because of allergies or whatever you don't like the glue on your hand, put a poly pocket around the edge of your glass mat or your cutting mat and put the glue on there and pick the glue up off that. So, the slight drop shadow, so you see that gold just shimmering through there. Okay. And then that is going to be placed onto that green layer there. So again, pick up that glue. There we go. Place that onto your green layer there. Don't we're in shot everyone. My phone's that high up for filming, I can't see, so we have to cross everything and hope for the best. There we go. So that is going to be placed onto there. So I'm going to do that now. There we go. That lovely fine border around the edge. And we'll just hold that for a second or two. And then we're going to place wet adhesive on the inside of these glue tabs. Now you could use red liner tape if you prefer. Um, I, as you know, I know I sound like a broken record, but there's lots of people that join that have never been on my channel before. But um, I always use wet adhesive where I can. So... We'll stick that onto the back there and then we'll stick that one down as well just pinching so I'll just use my trusty bone folder there and fold that down there we go and hang on that one as well Because I know once this is glued with the glue, that's it. You know, it's it's not lifting off there. Sometimes over a period of time, tape can can lift. Red line is really good though; it's very strong. I do prefer wet glue. So there we have our pocket there. So I'm going to place this now onto the card blank, and we'll have it as a traditional way of opening it. 
instead of a tent fold and I always like to put a little bit of wet adhesive on the back of my foam pad because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room when it's put down and it's there for longevity right okay so now we've got that part done so I cut two pieces of white card now they measure roughly two and a half inches in width and ooh, probably about four and a quarter in length and all I did is I took the die I placed it down to the top of the tag because it was um, a square edge like this, a rectangle, and I drew with the pencil the edge and then I just cut that out freehand. So I'm going to glue these two pieces together. Back to back. And then I've cut the detail in navy and the detail in green. Okay, so we're going to put the navy onto that pistachio green. We'll pick all the glue up there. Now I'm going to place this down here. we go so that's one done I've got another one here so I'll do the same again pick the glue up you could use spray adhesive if, if this is too much a, of a faff and you just don't like wet adhesive and you've got really intricate die cuts spray adhesive is a, a good way I'm just not, not keen on it myself anything skew wiffy can we right so I think you can be able to see where I'm going to go with this so I'm going to glue that to the top of the tag okay so I'm only going to put adhesive to the round pieces and down okay And then carefully line that up with my tag and just let that grab for a few seconds I'm then going to trim these off so get your tonic scissors and trim those off straighten that edge up because it's not even that'll only drive me potty there we go so that's one side done I'm going to tip it over and I'm going to repeat the process again so glue down there all you're doing is don't put any glue on these little tabs here and then do the same again line up with your tag make sure that's all pressed down and then trim these off there we go 
I was in the bin. There we go. Okay. So then if you've got like a, a hole punch or a crack dial or something like that, I'm then going to put a hole, she says, I blocked my hole up previously, there we go, going to put my hole round about there, I think, there we go, so there we go, I'm then going to thread some ribbon, through the hole, I'm just going to double that over, push that through, pull the tails back through the loop and pull up and I'm going to trim those off and then what I've done ahead of time because I'm going to, I am going to do some paper piecing, um, we've got one here that we've paper pieced in that pretty pink okay so we've just die cut that pattern again in pink and we've kept all the waste what we would normally throw away and we've paper pieced that back in but we're going to do that on the card so I thought well you don't need to see me do that twice so we've got the sentiment here as well so I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of my hand again And then, careful, there we go, put that on my backer, on your special day. And then I'm going to put some foam pads, or am I? No, I'm not, I'm going to put it flat, what am I saying? So, just rescued in the nick of time there. And I'm going to put that on the bottom of the tag. You could write on the back here if you wanted to, but then you've got the card. So I'm going to put this one to one side because we've paper pieced this one, but that's how you would make your own little tag. So I've got a little bone, we'll put that on at the end. So I'll put that to one side. Now then, when I say die cut for paper piece again like I've said here you would die cut the pink in that design but you would keep all the bits that come out okay so I'll put that to one side and voila da -da. now then let's make sure we're the right way so what I do is I have a little pickup tool and you can get these readily available and I would place wet adhesive back in where you know the petals are going to go and I tend to have the design I'm working on lined up with where I'm working as well so I know what goes where and it makes life a lot easier so as you see I'll just pick the pieces up and place them back in okay so we just put them back in there and this makes a world of difference to your design I I do an awful lot of paper piecing I just think it finishes a project off and not everybody does it not everybody wants to spend the time doing it um, but I really do think it makes all the difference um, to your projects so again we're going to do the same again I'm going to put little and this is the deluxe adhesive it's perfect glue for this type of thing and then place that back in the hole there we go and put that one in the hole and that one and that little piece 
piece there and then we've got another big one here so again we rinse and repeat for all the petals you see what I mean when I say I have the the bits and pieces in front of me so that I can see the same pattern and it makes life a lot easier because um, come on you tricky little thing in you go oh we don't want to go in don't want to go in go on that's it um, it just makes life easier when you're following a pattern that the pattern the pattern in front of you matches where you're going because otherwise you're looking at it upside down sideways what bit goes where and this just makes it a lot easier so in you go and they might need a little bit of persuasion just to tease those pieces in there there we go come on Slide over, that's it. And then we've got this tiny little one here. So one there. There we go. Now that one at the top. That one at the bottom. I could get lost for hours paper piecing. I love it. Not everybody does, but I do. And the last little piece floats in there. Come on, little fella, in you go. There we go. And there, I think that makes such a difference. So I'm going to put uh, my heat gun on, which I should have done before, but hey ho. We'll let that heat up for a minute. So as you can see, you've got this larger card here. And then you've got this card here. So they're all matching colour coordinating but all different different design and then i'm just going to add this bow here to my tag so let's help mr heat gun he's heating up quickly come on really really pretty sets these are so delicate so intricate my type of crafting really must be said that probably a lot of the girls on the DT probably agree this is up my street and it's really pretty there we go we'll put a little bit of hot glue on the back of that bow and then we'll place that bow on top of the tag and just hold it for a few seconds There we go. So we move these to one side until we finish. So this tag now is somewhere for you to uh, write on the back if you wanted to, and then you can slide your tag in place onto the card there. And I'm going to add. I think I might add some drops now. What am I going to add? Gold or? Oh, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go with the dream drop. Just a tiny little detail. And I'm going to put one here. One here. Well, we won't take the tag back out until it's dry. And then one there. And I might just 
add a highlight to these petals and I might just, there's a little piece there, not glued down. Let's get you glued down. There we go. And just to finish off, I think I'm going to add um, a nouveau my creaky school floorboards now. I think I might add a nouveau aquaflow pen. And which one shall we go for? Decisions, decisions. Let's find one that's open, shall we? No, that one's not right. This one. This one. There we go. And this is the Midas Touch Aquaflow pen. And I am just going to highlight a little bit on the petals and you'll see how much this glistens and sparkles can you see that i hope that picks it up so we're just going to add a little bit of that to the petals just to give it a little finishing touch there we go Now you know, don't you? It's gone so quiet. You know I'm sat here with my tongue out and I'm colouring in. Let's add a little bit to the tag. And I know you're all laughing at home because you know what I'm talking about. We're all the same. Just be careful if you've put your drops down like me. Now, nearly there. I think these um, the corner dies will look, work really well in your memory books as well to add little tags and little photo tags into your pages. I nearly actually did a page, but um, I had these ideas instead. So, so there we go. A real sparkly card with a beautiful tag. I'm not going to take it out because I'll end up ruining my drops probably. But with a little tag there. And I just think that's such a pretty little card. It wouldn't cost an awful lot to post either because it's not that dimensional. Um, so there we go guys. We've got three cards all colour coordinated. Um, I'll put that one there. All using the same dies but all using them a little bit differently. And um, this designer's choice, Corner Creations, will um, be available from Tonic. And I'll have my affiliated links in the description below. So if you'd like to purchase through my affiliated links, that would be smashing. Um, I make a small commission on each sale. Um, but it doesn't add anything extra to you whatsoever to use my links. And I'd just like to say thanks very much for joining me today. It means an awful lot um when you come over and you say hello and you subscribe it's it makes all the difference so i'd just like to say thank you very much for your continued support and uh, i look forward to bringing you lots more in the future so take care everybody bye for now